welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole and today I'm going to show you another five very easy feminine moves that you can do with on your heels. Um, but of course, if you don't want to wear heels, you can also wear sneakers, you can do it bare feet, doesn't matter. And you don't need much, just a little bit of space, a little bit of vibe, turn your favorite tune on and let's move. <laughs> with this tutorial because of the copyrights but you can turn on your favorite song and then you can speed up the moves you can slow them down and you know once I teach you them you can put them in a little routine uh, you can mix them up with some other tutorials that I already have um, or your favorite moves so you're free to do with it whatever you want um, I'm going to show you first all the moves one after another so you know what to expect um, and then I'm going to explain them in very much detail for very much beginners. So we have walk to the back. You want one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. We went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we went up. Boom. Hello. Yes. Going to learn today. Um, like you see, they're very easy, they're very feminine, very subtle, sensual, a little bit too if you want to. Um, so I hope you're gonna enjoy this. Alright, very first move. Let's jump into it. So the first move I did is a little step to the back and I pushed my hip to the side. Okay, let's break it down. So the first thing that you do is you literally walk to the back, right, left, right left yes but um of course it's not just walking because now we just look like a robot now so we have to add a little bit sauce into it okay and it also doesn't matter if you start from right or left left or right i just start from my right leg so you go right goes to the back and as you go to the back you're gonna sit and push your hip boom yes so let me see where i push my hip one two Okay, so you push your hip to the side where you are, where the, the side of your leg that is back. You get me? So my right leg is back and my hip also goes to the back. Yes, because if it's to the left, it's a little bit weird. So you literally like sort of sit on this leg that's at the back and the leg that's at the front is also bent and your knee is pointing outside together with your foot. Okay, so it's not like this. I mean, it could be if it's a little bit like <coughs> breaking the lines, right? Um, remember, in dancing, a lot of things, if not anything is allowed, nothing is really wrong if you own it. But just to make it cute and create beautiful shape and lines, you're going to push your hip to the side and you're going to sit. Then you're going to switch. Boom. Cha. See what I did here? So I switched my front leg. She went, she went to the back. Boom. Tick. And I sat down on the hip of the leg that moved to the back. And push. Sit. Push. Sit. And what you can do with it, you know, you can make it small or you can make it big, okay? So you can make small steps, boom, small, boom, small, boom, small, boom. Or you can really like make a little rond de jambe, you can really like make a circle, sit, circle, sit, circle, sit. So it's up to you, yeah? I think making it bigger is a little bit more difficult and you also like can add a little bit um, of a body roll as you are moving it vu, ha, vu, ha, um, to the back so maybe that's a little bit a challenge if you've never danced before but you know once you get the gist of the basic uh, part of this move you can kind of play with it so let's just do it one more time you go one two three four five six seven eight just a little attention pointer um, see, every time I go back, I actually go up. So I go sit and then, you know, I don't stay here, but you have to go up, down, up, down. So you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you wonder like, okay, what do I do with my arms? As you can see, I hold my arm, my hand on my hip, boom, 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 boom. But you can also like roll your shoulders to the back, which we're gonna do in a second anyway. So you can hold them here, boom, you can snap, boom. 
So you can just do a lot with your arms or like you can do nothing if it makes it a little bit too hard to coordinate. So I would say for the very beginners, just keep it on your hips. Boom, boom, boom. And focus on like moving to the back, back, hip, back, hip, back, hip, back, hip. Okay, all right. So that's move number one, okay? It's also a really good move to like replace yourself and go to the back. All right, second move is super easy peasy. Maybe that was a little bit of a difficult beginning, but the second move, I promise to you, easy peasy. What you're gonna do, you just wanna roll your shoulders to the back and roll it, roll it, roll it. Okay, of course, again, you shouldn't do it like you do it in fitness, you know, like warm up your shoulders, but you have to, you know, like add a little bit of a feminine touch to it. So what I do is my knees are bent, okay? Um, you can either way just keep your knees bent, your hips move to the back, or you can like bend one leg more than another and twist your knee inwards, boom, so then you create again beautiful shapes. Still, my both knees are bent, so you kind of create this soft position, and then you're slowly going to roll your shoulders to the back. My elbows are bent, my arms are like soft, meaning that like, you know, they're not like stretched, but it's just boom. It's like, you know, think about it as if like, I don't know, there's like somebody's massaging you and you're like, oh yeah, nice, right there. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. Wheel, 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 wheel. Okay, and also remember with moves like this that are very simple, you really have to have a little bit of confidence and you have to have um, appropriate attitude, you know, because if you're like super awkward when you do this, then it's not gonna look good, you know, even though it's easy, um, as in like the move physically, it's easy to uh, execute it. Um, so you really have to like, just, you know, work on this part, on your face, and just, you know, smile, you can look down, boom, 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 boom. Yes, so like try to also um, convey the whole move, like from within. I always tell you during my dance class, dancing is not only your body moving, but it's really motion coming from inside. Yes, music has to hit you and then emotions come out and you start moving you get me so the same with this one like mm, mm, uh -uh, meow, 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 meow. yes so we have little shoulders easy peasy um all right let's move on to the next one third one is also easy all you have to do is go with your arm up and then you're gonna go through your neck boom okay um, so again, this move is very delicate and very feminine and easy, but just like with the previous one, you have to believe in it. You have to believe that you're doing it right and you have to believe in yourself like, yes, I'm that feminine queen right now, I'm that goddess and what I'm doing is totally correct and right. So what I do here, again, I'm sitting in this beautiful position with my hip to the side, I'm standing on my toes, it's not like this, boom boom and then you're gonna bring your right in my case arm up it's like you're like Phew, a little fairy and then you melt boom 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 it's a little challenge maybe for a uh, balance so if you want you can try first boom with your legs open boom so because i feel like then you are more stable but yeah you can play with it the uh, most important part for this move is like your arm going up and then, as you can see, it melts, it goes down, I go through my neck, boom, and then you can finish it up, down, finish it up, finish it up by moving your arm down. And the feeling that you should have with this, it's like, I always like to refer to like a little breeze, you know, like you are somewhere in a beautiful island with a beautiful weather and it's a little bit hot and then all of a sudden this like, nice breezy rain falls and you're like, oh yes, right there on my hot neck, <laughs> okay? Or like, I don't know, like again, you're having some like really nice lotion and you're like, hmm, yes, feels nice. Okay, you can also close your eyes and move your head to the side. As a matter of fact, you can also do it with both arms, boom, 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 thick, meow, 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 boom. Okay, so that was 
is what? Move number three. All right, let's move on to move number four. So with move number four, we are going to step to the side, boom, and roll up. All right, so it goes zoop, zoop, ha. Yeah, I almost fell, <laughs> but okay, I'm not gonna cut it out. So you'll see that it not, though it doesn't always go smoothly. But okay, what's the technique of this move? So if you have loose hair, which I, um, my hair is a little bit fluffy poofy today because I didn't wash it for two days. But okay, I just want to show you how can we do it with a, a hair flip. So <clears throat> don't stress, I'll, I'll let you know what is it, uh, what's, what's the move, how to do it. But you can go like this, boom, and then you're gonna smoosh your hair to the side, see? And boom, thick. Okay, you can also do it smaller and boom, then it's just with your head, boom. But I'm going to explain the hair flips um, separately. But okay, let's focus on this move. So there's a mirror behind you, so I have to fix my hair because you know I want them nice and tight. Okay, so <clears throat> what do we do? Your legs are open. Now, keep your knees very strong and uh, stretched and your legs are really strong with this move you are okay allowed to stand also on your heels yes so you don't have to stand like this you here i'm also, also going to actually show you from the side so what you do you make like a whole circle half circle with your body boom and then you go up see so i am going with my upper body towards my right leg turn around and then you go up all right the only thing that you have to um, pay attention to one of the only thing but important thing is that when you are going from here here and then you go up you don't go like this it's not like ooh, ooh, <laughs> like a human body roller coaster but as you go up you have to open up your shoulder and look up yes see you go boom open up your shoulder and look up and the reason uh, is for, for it is because first of all it looks cuter than this yes see the difference but also if you have uh, loose hair um if you do it like this okay i'm just gonna show you again if you do it like this your hair is going to end up on your face whereas if you do it like boom open your hair is going to go to the side and then you are like good to go with the next move. See, again, <laughs> funny, and then you go boom, open, your hair moves and dances with you. Um, so, um, just one more time so you understand what is happening. We go down, down, open look yes and if you're ready and you feel like okay i got this you can add a little neck motion okay so it's not only your uh, body your 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 torso but it's also a little bit of my neck you go down and up or like it's always a little bit of your neck but you can add a little bit more and down and up okay i'll show you from the side you here down and up yes all right now we did a little bit of the waves so i hope this is clear enough and again if you feel like no oh, this one is a little bit too big for me you can try this one but i'm going to explain this move other time because it's a little bit different and smaller and different vibe so let me show you the very last one sorry for fixing my hair um but yeah i guess it did it's it's a little bit too poofy to be um, loose today. So the last move is very easy as well. All you do is go down and up. You. Wow, right? So again, my legs are together as you can see. And you can just go cute down, boom. And boom. Boom. See, you don't always have to complicate it for yourself. Sometimes it's just easy as that. And like I always tell you, and I've already told you in this video like five times, it's all about the attitude and like, you know, 
a little bit of emotion as well. So again, you can go two and three, four. As a little five, you can also like go down with your hips. You can go right, left, right, stay. Then you can like maybe mount first, five, six, seven, eight. And then you can go up, boom, boom. Notice that when I go up, I actually bring my hips up first. So I stretch my knees, my body stays down, and then I arch my back and bring my upper body. And then you can finish it, you can push your hip to the side and bend one leg, like open up with your shoulder leg. Yeah, and also when you go down, if you want a little bit challenge, you can arch, boom. Yes, that's a little bit um, more difficult than just going down, but I think it's cuter because it creates a little bit of a an arch from your back, so you go woo, arch, and sit, male, and go up, boom. All right, so that was the fifth and the last move of this tutorial. Um, let me see, should we recap it a little bit? Yeah, let's just recap it. Let me like put it together for you for the one last time. So what did we have? We have had, we had a little step to the back, so we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we had shoulders, one, two, three, we had arm, five, six, we had hair, woo, two, three, four, we went down, boom, boom, ti, ti, ta, boom, 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 cha, cha, shoo, okay, ah, you can to do it one more time, okay, you want to go one more time, okay, so, we had, Walk to the back. You went one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. We went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we went up. Boom. Hello. <laughs> okay. I'm satisfied now. <laughs> All right. So I hope that you enjoyed those moves. I hope that you feel nice about yourself that it boosted your confidence a little bit and you're like mm, look what that body do as usually if you have any requests any feedback write it down mm, and don't forget about my online classes that i have for you guys on my website and if you want to see my choreographies you can find them on my other account then confidence it's linked right here and in the description all right thank you so much have a wonderful day See you next time.